so streak pro is the maybe the elite aspect there's there's regular work in the gym and gym membership yes and then this is more the elite and excellence program for people who want to take it a stage further which is where i find myself talking to you now and apologizing um, because we've been running the God Squad program on Good Morning Portugal, growing old disgracefully, gentle fitness for bon viveurs, people over 50. But since I've been doing it, I'm, I have to say I'm very grateful to Coach Turner for putting it together. And I imagine I would be in worse shape if I hadn't done that. But what I noticed and what I've complained about, and now I really need to do something about with your help, is that for the, the next level, you know, getting rid of the man boobs, getting a bit of shape and thinking, hell, if I don't do something powerful and useful and invest in my personal strength and fitness, I might not live as long as I could as well. And that's pretty sobering because I'm an older sort of dad. You know, I've, I, I, I was a young father and now I'm an older father as well. And I want to live a long time and see my kids grow up and see my grandchildren um, grow up as well. So it's got a bit more serious. And um, we, we embarked on this idea of shaping up maybe three or four weeks ago and I talked to you and you said, yeah, I'll work with you. Yeah. I downloaded the app and I didn't get much further than that. Um, <laughs> so that's another iteration of it, isn't it? Is it can be app based and you can work with people remotely if they can't get to your gym. Uh, and that's what I would like to do if that's possible. Yeah, that's it. I mean, um, you know, the, what we offer is, is an eight week transformation program. Um, so it doesn't just involve going to the gym. We look at your diet or nutrition. We like to call it as opposed to diet. Um, I can understand why. Yeah. Um, and you, we look at what physical activity you're doing as well. And then we try and package it all together, make sure you're drinking enough water. And whilst whilst you're doing well and starting to lose weight, we like to look at a bit of mindset training as well, because it's, it's not much better time to do that than when yeah. you're kind of firing on all cylinders. So um, and it's proved pretty successful in the gym. And as I say, we this is our online version, so it's not connected to our our gym at all. We do still at the moment offer the stuff in our gym in Timoth in Devon, but this is completely online. Um, you know, we stay in contact with you in online through the app. Um, so yeah, that's how I, I did. I, I sent you the before pictures, you didn't did? I? <laughs> and I said you 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 asked me the part of the questionnaire and, and the sort of induction for the, for the app and and the training program is to send a picture of a, a, a physique that you would aspire to. Yes. And I kind of jokingly sent a picture of Robert F. Kennedy, who's proper buff, isn't he? And, a, and an amazing shape for yeah. a man of his age. Um, I, I doubt I'm going to get, I mean, people, were, when I show people pictures of that on the show, people say, oh, you never, you'll have to do, you know, you'll have to be in the gym every day for hours to get anywhere near that. Um, what we're talking about here is an eight week program, isn't it? And I know you, you, you pretty much guarantee if people follow the program, you guarantee transformation, don't you? So what kind of, what could I expect if not Robert Kennedy Jr. Then what sort of shape might I go from the man booby slight paunch guy? Um, it depends on, you know, when, when we bring you on board, we find out what your lifestyle is and how much time you've got to commit to it and what changes you can make. Mm. Um, my kind of baseline is that I can help guys to lose 10 kilos. Um, if, if it fits with their lifestyle and they can commit to what the time that I need them to do, then I will guarantee them 10 kilos. And if they don't do it in the eight weeks, I'll, my guarantee is that I'll work with them until they do lose 10 kilos of body fat. Yeah. Um, so we we focus on maintaining muscle mass as well. Um, so that you will get that kind of buff toned look that, that most guys want to get. <laughs> yes. Um, and you know, this it's not beyond anybody. If Robert F. Kenny, Robert F. Kennedy can do it. Why can't you? Quite. You know? and, and, and yeah, and it's interesting. I'm 58 now. Um, and I've, and part of this, you know, wanting to, to, to live to a ripe old age, I now realize does require more of an investment than just a little bit of mindfulness. And, mm. um, you know, j j just that the things, you know, you should do and doing a little bit of that and walking a bit further. I, I know it requires more than that. And that's what I'm about to embark on with you, um, as well. And I'm also thinking that shape It's interesting. You should say that, that the shape that most men want to have, whether they say they do or they don't. Most fellas like the idea, don't they, of a bit of a six-pack um, and yeah. some biceps and some um, pecs. And some good shoulders, yeah. Yeah, and if I don't do it now, um, and this is the idea, you know, I've never been, I, well, I've never done that before, you know, and this is part of what I need, need to sort of confess and get around with you, is that I've never, I, I've told myself I've never wanted that. Mm. And I think that's been a bit of a cop-out and an excuse. And now what I realise is even if, uh, it, even if that's not true, 
I need to crack on with it now. Otherwise, I might not get a chance again to be in such good shape. Yeah. And I mean, um, you know, your body composition is linked to so many health markers as you get older, mm -hmm. as in the, the kind of worse your body composition is, the more body fat you have, the kind of worse the out health outcomes will be for you as you get older. So, you know, it's, it's not just about looking better. It's about, you know, and mobility as well. Is, what is, is, what is body composition? So it's, it's the composition of your body. So how much muscle mass you have and how much body fat you carry. Okay. Um, so you'd, you'd normally talk about your body fat percentage, um, which talks about your subcutaneous fat. Um, if you're looking at sort of stage bodybuilders, their single figure percentages, which, you know, aren't sustainable by any means, those guys get into shape for, yes. for a day, you know, for a competition. Right. And you, it's not the sort of body fat percentage you can maintain. But um, most guys, you know, under 20% is your health markers improve. And then when you get down sort of 15 and below, you're looking at having a kind of flat stomach and starting to see abs. Um, and 15% is sustainable for, for everybody. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that what we'd look at long term. You may not be able to achieve that in eight weeks. It depends what your starting point is. But I'll see um, some results in eight weeks. Oh, you'll see that, huge that'll results. be encouraging to, to make me go further. You'll see huge results. Um, yeah. And the kind of what we hope that at the end of the eight weeks, you want to sack us. You know, that is our aim. <laughs> that you Put have yourself enough, out of business. Yeah, well, yeah. no, but you have enough information to, to carry on and, and take it where you want to take it. And, and you're in the flow then and you know what you need to do. Okay. Um, yeah, so, you know, some people stay on, well, a lot of people stay on with us because they want that encouragement and accountability. Yeah. Um, but we've also had people that have just got gone it alone afterwards and still managed to to get more results. And we like to keep in touch and find out what they do. Because they've ingrained some, they've turned a routine into yeah. habit, into second nature in those eight weeks. Indeed, yeah. They like what they see. They've begun to enjoy it. They've put aside their reservations and ideas about training and going to the gym and they've got a flavor for it. Yeah, I'd say yeah, so. Yeah, that's um, that's what I'd like to do. Yeah, I've got a client at the moment. Um, I can say his name. It's just Paul. We'll call him Paul. I won't say his yeah. full name, but um, he's lost eighteen kilos in in eight weeks. Oh, well um, done, Paul. But he's he's stuck to absolutely everything that I've asked him to do, um, and he's just done brilliantly. And and you know he started getting compliments and people notice him after about two weeks, and mm -hmm. it's just snowballed for him from there. He's just wanted more and more to keep going with it. Well, that's um, got to help, hasn't it? If people say. It's something different about you. You're yeah. looking, yeah, you're looking a bit more. Um, you're looking fitter, healthier. What are uh, so you know we've talked about shape mm. and longevity, I suppose, or longer term health benefits. And you know, the better shape you're in, the better your body is able to weather all sorts of storms, obviously. Um, and the uh, more obese you are, the more susceptible you are to heart disease, cancer, and um, diabetes, and those yep. sort of things that tend to get to people as they get older. And as they get older their ability to work against those things is diminished, isn't it? Yes. What other ben I mean, those are those are good enough benefits in their own right, aren't they? But what else might might we see if we were working with you? Um uh, mental health improvements All right. across the board and general happiness, which we like we measure, you know, in a very simple way as a score out of 10. Yeah. Um, but we've had it to the point where people without against our advice have come off antidepressant medication during the course and say that they feel absolutely fine now. Again, we wouldn't ever You've got advise to do that. You've got to do that in conjunction with a doctor, presumably. Yes, mm -hmm. we wouldn't advise anybody to do that, but it has happened. And, you know, without fail, everybody who sticks with the program, sees it through to the end, their happiness rises a lot. Um, you know, a lot of times when people come to us, they're not feeling great about themselves. That's what's driven them to come to us. Yeah, yeah. Um, so with the sort of three fours out of 10, and then by the end, they're eight, nine, sometimes 10. Fantastic. 10 in, fantastic. In okay. So, and you, you obviously you won't want to be giving too much away in terms of your IP here and what you actually do, but can you give us a rough idea of what goes on, you know, the induction and then what happens over those eight weeks and what I'm about to embark on? <laughs> um, so we use something called the three cube method. Um, it's, it's not, rocket site is not something massively new it's just what mm. we call it and, and how we like to simplify the process um and basically that is the bare minimum that we will ex expect from somebody so we talk about three workouts a week three half hour walks a week and three meals a day and that's the basis around which we build everything oh, okay um and from that you know we can take it as far as we want um, but that's kind of the bare minimum you would need to do um to see results but that doesn't sound so onerous does it no Exactly. Right. Okay. And that, that's why we try to simplify it in that way. Yeah. Um, but, you know, some people changing to three meals a day, it can be quite a lot for them, you know, and if they snack in the evening, it can be tough. 
Um, but we like to work with people. It, you know, it's an ongoing process, so we keep in touch with you the whole time and um, make sure that if, if you're struggling with something, you let us know. We change it. Mm -hmm. and we try to find a way to make it work for you. And you, and you give the template for the exercise, those three yes. workouts. So, sorry, yeah. So we let you know what, what we want you to do, whether it's a home workout or what fits in with your lifestyle. Going to the gym, we'll let you know what to do there. Uh -huh. Within the app, it's all very clearly laid out. Um, I can't show you on this screen, unfortunately, but um, you know, maybe one day, maybe on your show, we can we can make it so that people can see the actual screen. But yes, um, it's down. To, it's got videos for each exercise, rest periods. You you put in the weight that you've used, or if it's body weight, you say how many reps you've done, um, and we can change that as well. So you you know, if you're doing well, we can up the reps, and and it's all just straight into the app. Um, and, then and, and, and then you've got the data to work with to yeah, see how exactly. someone's doing. Yeah. Wow, so fantastic. We'll do, we'll do weekly feedback based on what you've done. Yeah. So we'll gather all, the, all that data from one week and, and give you feedback on what you need to do for the coming week and, and set sort of mini goals for each week. Um, in terms of nutrition, um, I don't know, a lot of people probably have heard of or used my fitness power before where you um, record the calories, basically count the calories that you're, you're eating and drinking. Um, so we've got our own version of that within our app. Um, so again, we set your nutrition plan. You let us know if that's what you've eaten or you can adjust it within the app. We can see what, what's happened, you know, what you've achieved throughout the week. And then again, you know, if, if you are overeating in a certain area or thing, you're not getting enough protein, we can see that straight away mm -hmm. and make changes accordingly. So the templates there for the food intake, yes, recipes, possibly how to put things together. Yeah. We keep it nice and simple at first. So we, right. we don't have sort of an elaborate meal plan where, you, you know, that can be as off-putting as it can be helpful, though. Yeah, can't it? I think so because yeah. people don't know how to shop. You know, if you get a lovely-looking menu with you know ten different lunches, ten different main meals, how do you go and shop for that? Yeah, you know, yeah. you end up with a load of wasted food. So we keep it really simple at first. Um, we okay. do at least a couple of weeks of eating very similar things every day, um, and then yeah, from there we sort of people will start asking, you know, can I change the dinner? And then we look at maybe one or two days a week having something a bit different. Yeah, and we also look at how you can we, we try and teach you how to make your favorite meals into macro friendly meals which will fit in with your nutrition plan macro friendly meaning so protein carbs and fat okay. is your macronutrients um and we set the levels of those that you need each day cool. um, okay and as i say being able to use my fitness power will you can track that so so basically it, it it's all about tracking and knowing what you're doing knowing why you're doing it mm -hmm. And as, and as I say, tracking it, if you don't track it, you can't, you can't know what, you can't measure, what if you don't measure, you body. don't know what's changing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And why it's it. affecting your body. So, so it's, it's eight weeks of tracking. Really. Yes. So <laughs> and, there were, there, there were the three workouts, the three meals and only three meals a day and the help that people are getting with both of those things. And the other thing was, I mean, that's fairly straightforward, isn't it? The three half hour walks a week. It sounds it, but so there's, <laughs> <laughs> There's there's walking and then there's walking. So when when I say half hour walk, I mean half hour with we'll, we'll work out what we want your um, heart rate to be for that half hour. But it's about starting and then for 30 minutes having your heart rate at that peak. So oh, okay. sort of having a stroll with the dog is is good if you can do it, but it doesn't count as one of your walks for the week. So we're looking at a half hour walk. I find it more useful to do mine on the treadmill just because you don't, you know, you're not going to bump into anyone that wants to talk to you if you go for a walk on the seafront or where you live. And you can be monitoring your heart rate fairly easily. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I've done it, I have done them outside and it's quite nice. Just put your headphones in and ignore everything. And similarly in the gym, if you're on a treadmill, yeah. you just listen to your favorite podcast for half an hour. Well, yeah, actually, funny enough, that's part of it. Yeah. So we don't waste that time on the, on the treadmill by listening to music. We try and get you to download an audio book. It's something to do with your, uh, your particular okay. goals. And that's working on the mental health side of it and yeah. the personal development. And the mindset, so. yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Okay, so I haven't made a very good start. And, I mean, I'm sure you, <laughs> I'm not the first person, presumably, who's made such a poor go and, and made so many excuses. You must come across this. Um, I mean, with, with you, Carl, it's tough doing stuff with family and friends normally because um, – Obviously, I haven't. I've not asked you for any money for it. So a big thing about what we do is the financial commitment. So it's not a cheap course, but when people financially commit to something, they've got skin in the game, yes. and they tend to see it through. Yeah. Um, and this, so this is not aimed, you know, a dig at you because invariably, if somebody doesn't pay for it, it's not top of their priority. I no, I totally understand um, that. Yeah. So you know, we uh, well, I said we're going to have a discussion before I go back. 
mm -hmm. England, but um, we'll, we'll find a way to make it work for you, definitely. But um, no, I understand but, that, and no, I, I am I'm ready now, and 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 yeah. you know it's time to 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 make this step, and I think part of that was. I don't know, I was listening to the, you know, the, the diary of a CEO guy talking mm -hmm. to a doctor who specializes in physical fitness and how training, weight training is is life extending. But people are seeing this now. This is this yeah. is becoming more obvious, or if not more obvious, then more talked about. Yeah. And this whole penny dropping of, you know, you can you can kind of avoid it, can't you? And just go about life in your own sweet way with your assumptions. And that's actually quite dangerous, isn't it? Because those assumptions might be way off. Like you say, if you don't measure something, you don't know what progress you're making. Yeah. And if you don't, if you don't clarify or um, evaluate the assumptions you make about your life and the rest of it, and what you're doing to enhance and improve the quality of it, you might be way off, might you? You might just be compounding things that are actually quite detrimental, rather okay. than building in the habits of a lifetime that are going to, if if all goes well, help you live to a ripe old age. Yeah, indeed. Um, and it's quite easy to become disillusioned. Say if you if you embark on a, a gym, going to the gym on your own, mm -hmm. um, but you haven't got the nutrition quite right, um, so you don't see any physical changes. You'll, pro you'll get stronger because you're using the gym and doing resistance training, but you might not see the body changes because your nutrition is not right. Uh -huh. After two weeks, three weeks, especially if you don't particularly enjoy the gym, you're probably quite likely to just give up, you know, because you think, well, it's not working. I've given it two, yeah. three weeks. Yeah. Um, so we really try and get things going straight away with this so that people can see or demonstrable impact yeah and they do after you know even after a week we've had people lose three four kilos in a week well wow. uh, that's mainly water weight is changing from sort of a high salt high sugar diet yeah. down to one that isn't yeah and then you'll lose a, a lot of water retention uh -huh. initially um but yeah so we, you know we keep it high protein um calorie controlled we try not to restrict too much food some people are more are better at being told what to eat yes. some people aren't so we have to work with the person and their lifestyle and you know we find a way we find a way for everybody to make it work it's not kind of a one size fits all and that's what that's the value in this isn't it that's that's what people are paying for i think yeah is is your insight that they couldn't possibly have themselves you know they might be picking up bits and pieces of going to the gym um and asking for what they think they need at the gym from the trainers in the gym they might have read another article about food yeah. and the latest fad. You know, should I be drinking red wine or not this week? <laughs> what, what does the newspaper say? But you've got, you seem to have, and perhaps what Streak Pro is about is weaving all of those bits together, kind of the Rubik's Cube of, of the various pieces that make that puzzle work out so that people can see results and don't think to themselves, again, Diets don't work. Going to the gym doesn't work. I don't work. I shall never change. Yeah. Those are very challengeable propositions that, that, although they can be quite deeply held, from what you're saying, they're, they're very challengeable. Yeah. And some of our best feedback is, and most valuable feedback that we think we've had is from people that say, I never thought I could lose the weight. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and you can, anybody can. Um, you mentioned red wine there. So, uh, <laughs> not I mean, for any particular reason. But, you know, it's very faddy, isn't it? You know, you, you can find a research uh, study that says well, yes, some says no. I'm going to talk more about alcohol and the course, but, you know, most people enjoy a drink. I'd yeah. say there's a, a small percentage of people that come on the course that don't drink at all. Yeah. Um. So, you know, we do encourage people to not drink alcohol whilst they're on the course, only because, um, you know, you have to include all calories that go into your body, and that includes the ones that you drink. Yeah. So we try and drink as few calories as possible, uh -huh. i.e. just drink water. Um, or teas without milk, etc. Black coffee, um, but some people it, it, that's just not possible for them. You know, they're like, no, I enjoy a drink. I still want to do the course, but I enjoy a drink. So mm. we we have various different ways we can do that. Um, but <laughs> that, yeah, you, it doesn't that involve, interest a lot. Of people. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. involve sort of you know having two bottles of wine every night because there's, there's no way that you're going to make changes to your body i don't if, think there's a research project on earth that's told anyone that that's good for you is there no, exactly. a glass of red wine might, might just keeps coming back in and out of the news doesn't it as a useful thing yeah that's from um resveratrol i think it is that's in red wine okay they've, they've right. done some research on longevity but yes i think the most recent stuff says that you probably have to drink about 20 bottles of wine a day for it to make any difference. And I think the negative, <laughs> Some people have tried. The negative effects might 
outweigh. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, sorry for the. Sorry to uh, to put too much focus on on wine there, but it is an interesting. It comes up a lot with, yeah, with everybody yeah. that we speak to. You know, in the initial stages when we're setting everything up. Yes. Alcohol comes up a lot. Um, okay. You know, and the food. It's always about the food. Right. Everyone can handle the physical side of it, and it's mainly about the food is it? and the drink. That's yeah. where people and tend to fall. Not necessarily fall, but that that's the main conversations um, right. that people have with us is about the food. Yeah. Can I change this? Can I have this? Um, <laughs> you know, and the answer is not no always, but it, it's about portion control and, and very simple equations of calories in, calories out. And, you know, you can you can look at having no carbs or intermittent fasting or keto. Yeah. But they all boil down to, to how many calories you put in your body and how many calories you burn in a day. Yeah. And if you're eating more than you're burning, you'll put on body body weight. Um, okay. And, 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 and the opposite. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, well, I'm ready to make a start. Um, the, you know, the, the conversation, hanging out with you, being, you know, you've been in, in Portugal um, in this last week and it's been great talking to you and sort of edging closer to, um, a serious commitment. That's the sunburn. Yes, <laughs> me too, actually. Um, and of it's course, because we're friends and we've been hanging out, mm. that food intake has gone up, hasn't it? Because it's all part of the tourism thing, eating a Mine bit more, has, drinking yeah, a bit more. Unfortunately, um, yeah. myself and Nina have got a photo shoot coming up um, <laughs> right. for some marketing that we're doing. And yeah, I've put on two kilos since I've been here. Have but, you really? Right. But I think that's probably, I'll lose that quite quickly again when we get back. Because you know how to. to. Well, yeah, and, and because it, it's probably water retention, I'd say at least half of that's water retention just from changing my diet from a very strict one. Um, so, yeah. We'll, your strict I'll, diet, I'll I mean, the, you the, still, the you're still you're still able to enjoy food because I know you like food. Yeah. Even though yeah. it's strict, is it is it a, a, a diet a, or a, an approach to food, a, a nutritional approach where you're still enjoying food? Absolutely, yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. yeah we just tried, you know, we found meals that we enjoy. Yeah. And we have that as our baseline every day. So that's what we try and eat every day. That's important. If we fancy something different, we spend five minutes, if that, working out the macros of that meal mm -hmm. um, and making it work. And then, you know, we stick it in our book as a meal that we can have on a different occasion. So you're building a, you know, your own menu of, of stuff that you can eat. Excellent. Because uh, it's not all, not all suffering and struggle. And no, there's a massive and, payoff, isn't there, in being the shape fitness and health level you want and you can it sounds like you can select that yeah. within reason if you're prepared to do the work exactly. it's, this might sound like an odd question but do you find personally and and this, does this work for other people that they are in become more in tune with their bodies and their body's needs because i think we're quite unconscious aren't we generally in society mm. in and in our western world about the effect and the reason why so many of us are in such bad shape is because there doesn't seem to be a very obvious and immediate um, relationship between what we put in and the effect it has in the body. As you become healthier, do, do those feedback mechanisms become a bit more obvious? Um, I, I can only speak for myself, really. And I, I suppose I've had some feedback about that, but people tend to want, when they've put in the hard work yeah. and made the changes, um, especially as you know, people 30, 40 plus years old, they don't want to go back to where they were before. Um, so they will mm -hmm. become more conscious about the choices they make um, with regards to food and, you know, with regards to movement as well. So instead of taking the lift, they might decide to take the stairs mm -hmm. and, you know, really simple cliche things like that. But it's true. It you know, is. And, yeah, yeah, I can understand that. Um, you know, you think, well, I, I don't feel like I've moved enough today, you know, and, you, and your body will tell you you need to move a bit more and maybe yeah. go and do something um, as opposed to what we're kind of conditioned to do, which is sit down in the evening and do nothing. And keep our fingers in our ears when our body's saying go for a walk. Yeah. No. I don't I don't <laughs> think it even re it even registers, you know. And I've yeah. I've been in good shape, I've been in bad shape as well in my adult life. Um so I know, you know, I'm not one of those people that's been in perfect shape since I was 18. <laughs> You're right. And I'm far from it now, you yeah. know, but I'm trying to get back to somewhere where I feel healthy and and sustainable. Yeah. Um I think in my early twenties I just wanted to be, you know, hugely muscular. Yes which is also not very healthy for, for mobility. Um, so that's, that's not what we, that's not the look we try and go for with people. <laughs> right. um, and, Coming back to Robert Kennedy Jr. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, um, I can't remember the exact picture um, of him, but I'm quite sure he's just fairly muscular and, and in good shape as opposed to sort of <laughs> bulging. Yeah. You know, Schwarzenegger type yes, yeah. size, which is, you know, only obtainable 
obviously with I'm not looking for that. substances. <laughs> I'm not looking. I also for don't that. encourage it. allegedly. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. Look, I'm not looking for that. No. Um, so that's brilliant. Thank you for explaining this and the kind of magic, the, the X factor that brings these things we know because it is common sense, isn't it? Yeah. But it not it isn't necessarily applied common sense, and people who are, who want to do this don't know what they don't know. And they don't know how to bring it together. And that's why I think they need the professional supervision and insight and analysis and consultancy and all the things that make it all come to life and give them the results they want to see. Is there anything else we need to add or you need to, you need to tell me? Um, not really, Carl. I think, I think you've covered it well. Yeah. As you always do as an interviewer. Um, <laughs> well, I've got a skin in the game. <laughs> you have. Well, this is, not yeah. yet. Be <laughs> be well said. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. I've um, got, <laughs> I'm talking a good talk and, and now, <laughs> That now needs to turn into action. But yeah, I think, you know, taking photos is, is an important part of it. Right. Um, for seeing changes, you know, it's not just about what the scales say either. So, you know, we try and measure people's progress in, in a few different ways, you okay. know, scores out of 10 photos, how you actually feel yes. um, and what the scales say. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you know, and I think sort of publicly letting people know what you're doing can be good for some people. Mm -hmm. Um I think did you did you not post your before photos? I've got my before photos. Yeah. Did you put them up? From, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. There you go. Yeah. Um, I've got my benchmark. I feel for the sure. pressure of that. Yeah. Everybody knows. <laughs> they do. It's true. <laughs> no, I, you know, I, I'm quite happy to do that. Set myself up like yeah. this, and I know you know it's important to be to be true to your word and so on. Mm. And it was only a matter of time. But that time clearly it's has the only come. reason I came to Portugal is to <laughs> see you in person. Not to drink wine and eat loads of food. Okay. No. <laughs> now, I, now I understand. Okay. And if people are listening to this conversation thinking, yeah, I'll have some of that. Um, I want this streak pro. They could be they could be in Portugal or anywhere in the world mm -hmm. and you can supervise them remotely, can you? Yeah. Great. Okay. Course, yeah. Um, and how, how do they get in touch then if they want to get, get, get on board um, and beat me, me to it? Add me on Facebook. So just my personal... Henry Jeffries, Facebook. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we can leave a link up. I'll maybe. put a link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. wherever you see, um, hear this recording, there should be some uh, some information. So to yeah, in touch add, with Henry. Add me, and um, I put quite a lot of free content on there anyway. So right. you know, if you're looking for a bit of advice, you know, not necessarily want to commit to everything yet. I put yeah. up stuff three, four times a week, giving advice to everybody on Facebook. Um, yep, yeah, on Facebook. Oh, okay, right. Um, and yeah, I, we're kicking off in September officially with the program. So at the moment, I've got, I think I, I was giving out five spaces for half price. Um, I was going to ask you, yeah, if it hasn't started yet, is there a deal? There is, yeah. So, well, there's three spaces left now. So right. before I came, I just launched the, the pre-launch, as it were. Yeah. I put those five spaces up. Um, I haven't done a lot since I've been here, obviously, because we've been enjoying our holiday. <laughs> yes. um, but we're back on the grind when we get back on Monday mm -hmm. and look, looking to fill those free spots up pretty quickly. And then, and again, um, get in touch with you, Henry Jeffries, yep, on, on Facebook, Facebook. To, to take advantage of that yeah. offer. Great. All right. It's, yeah. it's been great having you here and hanging out and having a lovely holiday. Yeah. And this upside. Your drive. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Parkonmydrive.com. Yep. Um, it's, it's been great to, to talk to you here now in this moment mm. and generally about and, and come to the realization that this is not going to happen on its own is it no. or by accident this is going to require some focused work um and yeah and you know a few a few pennies have dropped i think since you've been here around this so i'm looking forward to it so thanks mate appreciate yeah. it Thank you.